Oktoberfest to learn about the German culture. All right, let's go do it. And pretzel, please. Thank you. So the story of the house, I always like to say, begins in Germany in the tiny town of Schifferstadt. And it was there that Joseph Brunner had a large family which he then, in the mid 1720s, 1730s, decided to pick up and move to the new world. Joseph Bruner his son Elias built this fabulous house and he built it using the German traditions that he knew. We call it the Stubenkammer. Kammer is bedroom. Stuben is stove. Why would you want a tiny door there right beside the stove? Um, so then the heat would come in. Exactly. They knew how to conserve the heat in a large house like that. Um, and it's one of the things that makes me think they must have been really, really smart people. Now, in an English house, you would see a large grand staircase, but the Germans were very frugal and they had that little winder staircase that goes up to the second floor, rather than wasting space for a large grand staircase. The front of the house was meant to impress people as well as some of the details on the inside. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, keep looking up.